Hey, hey, what's up, guys? Here we are again. We're going to look at Maple Bay Hole 2 in the uh, Winter Olympics, whatever they call this thing, Winter Major. Uh, looks like it's a long par 5, but not so bad. And you have to decide, left or right, left or right. Well, I don't know anyone choosing left because it just doesn't make sense to me. But I'm, I'm sure there's someone out there that can do a power slice. Uh, this is the first tee. And uh, as you can see, even with the power two ball, I'm having to, I, I wouldn't say lay up, but go for the first fairway. And so I'm going to put it right up there in that little notch. And again, this is the first time I've seen the hole. So I'm sure there's people out there that are watching this going, no, no, do it this way. Dude, this is the first look. Be cool. As long as you get the eagle, we're cool. Uh, is it an alba hole? Obviously, for those that can get it in two strokes. All right, so here we are. Let's see what my opponent does, Mr. Joma. Uh, he's going to go. Now, he's using the white ball. He wants to practice for that second tee. So that's a good uh, observation from everybody what to expect from the second tee-ish. Uh, maybe three top spin. You don't really have to be close to the edge. Just be up in that notch. Hits it great, but even a great shot can stay on the fairway. There we go. Yeah, he's nice and safe. All right, so the next thing you have to decide is, do I want to rough bump it, uh, or do I want to uh, kind of back, back hook it in? And, of course, I like the backspin, so I'm going to put my ball guide right up in there, full back, full back it up. The, uh, the green doesn't exactly work like a backstop unless you get higher up on it. So I'm giving up getting close just to make sure it's nice and in the middle of the green. Uh, hit it great, left or right, doesn't matter. You'll still be on the green. See, there's just not a lot of backup there. Unless, well, maybe if I hit further, maybe if I'd hit it great right, I would have backed up closer to the hole. So I'll keep that in mind, that you want the angle, uh, you want to be behind the hole when you get that second bounce. I'm sorry, not behind the hole, before you get to the hole on the, what do you call it, the right side. All right, so he's going to do the rough bump with a couple of top spin over, which is a good idea. It'll get you close. But if you make a mistake, you know, he's, he's got a crosswind, so it's hard to mess this one up. But if you have a tailwind or a headwind, uh, I wouldn't suggest doing this. So, all right, let's see what else we can play here. Bear with me here while I check the music. Okay, I can't find it, can't find it. You're just gonna have to listen to me. No! Here we go, let's just play that one. And see, with the, with the top spin, it does get on, but again, if you have a headwind or a tailwind, that could be trouble. So it gets nice and close. I'm going to chip it on in for my eagle. And we will get to see one of the shootout holes. Oh, it looks like J-Bone's doing the same thing I'm doing. We're posting holes. All right, the shootout hole, I can't tell you what number it is. It's one of the par threes. You'll figure it out. All right, so this one, a lot of people like to rough bump it, but with, with the uh, tailwind like that, you're really asking for trouble because if you under or over adjust, you're either in the sand or you're in the water. So we're just gonna do a full backspin off the uh, edge there, and I'm under adjusting a little bit. Uh, I did, I just did it four rings instead of 4.6. And then I put a little bit of left curl on it, and then I actually hit it great by mistake, but it worked out okay. So you can stop the ball with the Guardian. 
not the sniper. If you're in the sniper, you better do the rough bump. All right, so he's got the bounce with the long iron. Uh, I mean, maybe from the third tee you'll have to do this. The second tee, you should be already using a uh, power three ball. But this may be the setup for everyone with your wood to, to do the bounce. So let's watch him close. Looks like he just used one or two backspin. Yeah, that looks reasonable. So there's two different approaches. Uh, from the first tee, Guardian all the way with full backup. Uh, from second tee, possibly the Guardian with a power three ball. We'll find out. And uh, third tee, it looks like you're going to be bouncing over with your wood. So, all right, guys. I will see you soon. Have fun.